Are there any ways to mitigate your chance of developing a thrombosis if you're vaccinated with AstraZeneca? I'm going to start this answer by saying something I've already said many times before, which is that both trials and hundreds of millions of recipients show the AstraZeneca vaccine is highly effective at preventing future infection with COVID-19. And the chances of developing the blood clots that have been associated with a vaccine are extremely rare. Um, the exact numbers are kind of hard to interpret, but the European Medicines Agency says that over the course of both doses, about one recipient in 100,000 develops the side effect. So it's a very uncommon occurrence. That chance is so much smaller than the chance of a serious outcome if you contract COVID-19, certainly for older people, that there's a very clear benefit in getting the AstraZeneca vaccine. Because vaccine-induced thrombosis is so rare, we're still learning about it, but we think we figured out the mechanisms that cause it. And, and that, coupled with simple awareness, is now playing a big role in reducing the dangers for those who do develop the condition because it can be treated if doctors recognize it quickly. Um, symptoms of it can include uh, severe headaches or, or blurred vision, uh, persistent pain in an extremity or in the abdomen, uh, shortness of breath, or the development of unexplained bruising around the injection site. And, and those symptoms usually occur between four and 30 days after vaccination. Um, I couldn't find any advice about how to mitigate your chances of developing the rare side effect, which there's no surprise there since we're still unable to predict even who might be vulnerable. But being aware that a thrombosis can occur and vigilant about how it presents, that can go a long way towards helping you if you turn out to be one of the very few people who are affected.